you guys, this is Dar Sizzle, and this is the Dar Sizzle house, and we're gonna be going to take our flats boat out and put it on the trailer and do some work on it, and then we're gonna take it inshore trolling, and we got a nice fresh water canal right behind my behind our house, and uh, so we're gonna get the boat out right now and do a little project. Should be fun. So we're gonna basically take the boat down to the to the ramp, which is a couple miles north of here um, at John Prince Park, and we're gonna put it on the trailer. We're gonna bring it home. We gotta install some straight up rod holders in it, and once we take care of that, we will go ahead and drop it inshore saltwater, and we'll do some fishing over there and hopefully catch some snook and sharks. So it should be a nice day. Looking forward to it. And this canal is connected to a big chain of lakes the Lake Osborne chain and Lake Ida chain of lakes here in South Florida. So we have access to amazing bass fishing pretty much everywhere. Catch bass right here in my backyard. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to take the boat up to the boat ramp, which is at John Prince Park a few miles away, and we'll take care of that. Then we'll put it inshore, and we haven't been inshore saltwater fishing yet on this boat. And basically, we troll lip divers around. So we are going to be installing rod holders so we can do that today and um, hopefully catch some fish. super excited about that. It's about two to three hour process, so we'll be fishing on our bigger boat today. And he's getting the scan all ready to go, and he will scan this flats boat to get some sick sea deck on it. Super excited. So Jared brought us some sea deck samples for the different colors that we can pick to cover our boat in, and our, our pro line boat, our 23 foot center console, has this color on it and this this can't this dark color gray. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and switch it up and do something different. And if you guys have any suggestions, I'm more than happy to listen. So see all these colors here? This is what you pick from. You can also go to cdeck.com and check out the samples there, but this is everything that they offer. So we're probably gonna pick two colors for our boat. Just not sure which route to go yet. So please help me. So we left Jared scanning the boat for sea deck and we kind of got a late start today. Kind of the time got away from us. But now we're headed down to our sea deck pro line to do some fishing for a couple hours and shore trolling. Hopefully we can catch some snook and we're going to go get some breakfast right now because we're starving. So we're going to do that and we'll see you down at the boat. out of here so actually it's kind of like a ritual every time we leave the dock I troll a lure um, to see if I get a hit usually at the end of the dock right here and I almost caught a tarpon like two years ago um, I haven't caught anything since but it's always good to try and <laughs> I like to fish <laughs> and always have a line in the water no fish So we're out here and we're about to start doing some trolling, so I wanted to give you a little bit of tips and tricks and show you basically how I do it and um, 
that way you can do it too and basically you can inshore troll a lot of people think of trolling as offshore but you do that offshore as well but inshore you can do it when you're on a booze cruise or you're going through a no wake zone um, and you never know what you're going to catch so it's always good to pull lines i like to pull lines no matter what wherever we are um, but basically for inshore trolling we use four rods for our setup and the last week i've been just killing it with the snook i probably caught 25 snook and i'm just going to show you how i've been doing it and basically we've got these tees we got two tees on either side of the boat we call these tees and we put our rods in the outside holder here so that way when the lures troll they're further away from the boat and this is my accurate sr6 and it's a lot of fun it's a light action pole and um, i got this yuzuri minnow lip diver and that's what we'll pull and sometimes we'll get it way far back sometimes it'll be pretty close sometimes it'll be medium length um, but usually that works and you find out you know what's best for the fish and then we usually have two lines in the back of the boat here. We'll have one further out and one short, so that way they don't get tangled with each other as we troll. And this is a bigger Yuzuri Crystal Minnow Lip Diver right here. So we've got this one out. And we just use different colors, we use different sizes, see what the fish are hitting that particular day. Um, the last week the snook have been hitting pretty much everything on the boat. And then we've got this, we've got our, we've got our setup here for bass. And Brian, my cameraman, and also my boyfriend, he likes to pull light stuff. And if we get a fish on it, great. So we're pulling some bass setup, and we've got a lip diver on it. So we'll see how it does today. Um, then we've got our tee on the other side of the boat here. And we've got our, ac our Valiant, our Accurate Valiant reel out. So we've got that with our pink shrimp. Fish love the pink. They love this pink shrimp. They've been destroying this thing. I've lost probably three of them in the last week and this is my last one. So I gotta get some more. Uh, so when we pull these lures, we'll pull all four and we usually pull them at 10 RPMs on our boat. That is about four miles an hour. Uh, so for us, four miles an hour works. Fish hit the lures all the time. When you're trolling on your boat, you just gotta figure out what's best and what speeds work best for you to pull the lures. Um, so that's what works for us. We're just gonna chill and hang out today. March 3rd is actually my birthday. So um, we'll just be relaxing in shore today. Hopefully we can catch a fish or two and just enjoy our little boat ride fishing trip. So I'm pretty excited. Just 
Hey, 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 hey. I just saw that thing, the actual like, rubber band like break, and then like the rod just went straight down, and then it popped up after the rubber band broke. And this thing started screaming. That's crazy. Oh, I just got a glimpse. I think it's snook. It goes like this. Measure them.